Hey Thompson Lions, um, I'm going to walk through with you on how we're going to be using the Edgenuity application for our virtual e-learning experience. So go ahead and start off at the Pasadena portal. You're going to log in the same way that you always have with your password and username. Now keep in mind whenever my portal tiles pop up, they're going to look different than yours, but I'll show you which tiles you need to click on. Okay, so you're going to go to your applications and you're going to look for the tile that looks like this, the Edgenuity tile. All right, you're going to click it. It'll open it up. You're going to click student because you're a student. And then it may ask you to log in again, even though you logged in through the portal. If it does, that's fine. It's still the same username and password. So once we get into the Edgenuity application, this is where all of your stuff is going to be. Some of your announcements might pop up. We're going to ignore it for right now. So your page will look different than mine. I only have one math class. You will have a tile for every single one of your classes. Okay. Now you can click on your class. So pick a class to click on and it'll show you all of your assignments and lessons that are coming up. So all of your assignments are already in there, ready to go. For example, I'll show you the first one. So our first lesson for math is going to look like this. And it's complete with videos. It has um, different types of stuff. Hold on, let me pause this. Okay, so you can use any of these features. This is a highlighter you can use to highlight something. This is not highlightable at the moment. And there is different ways that you can change the speed. This is a reference chart. Okay, and then you can click through after you watch the video, you would click to the next thing and, you know, maybe it's a quiz or maybe it's more information or examples or anything like that. Okay, and you'll just go through all these little blocks until you get to the very end and then bam, you've completed a lesson. So let me go back for now. Go back, go back, go back. Okay, so I'm back on my course map. So this tells me everything that I'm doing right here. So if I wanted to make notes, they would pop up here so you can access your notes here. Here is going to be your progress. So right now it looks like I have done absolutely nothing, which is not good. But if I did, it would tell me I took one quiz. It was graded and this is um, the percentage of the weight that it's going to be for your grades. All your stuff is going to pop up here. I'm going to go back to the course map and I'm going to click on course report in the top right. Let's open that real quick so I can show you what it looks like. Okay. So this is your course report. It will tell you all, all the details of every th single thing, okay? All of your lessons, even each assignment, they have an estimated time and they don't tell you how much time you spent on it what category it is, and the score that you got on it, okay? This is how your teachers are going to be getting your grades. We're going to be looking at these reports and then assigning you grades from there. If you go back to your home page and you click, you look at all your tiles for all your different classes, if you don't want to go into the course map, the best thing and the easiest thing, the thing that I recommend is just to click on next activity and it'll take you to the very next thing that you need to do. Okay, so since I haven't started, it took me right to the beginning. But for example, if I completed one lesson and I clicked next activity, it would have brought me to the second one. And it'll pop up like that for every single one of your classes. Okay, so let me show you a few more things in the Edgenuity app. If you need to create a message, if you need to email a teacher, you can click on the messaging button in the top right hand corner. You can select a new message, select recipient. It'll show you all the people that you're allowed to send a message to. Okay, and then you can type away whatever you want and click send, and then we'll get it. And so we can check it and be in communication with you guys. Don't need to worry about any of that. Okay, 
So it's pretty simple. Uh, go ahead and play around with it. Make sure you understand it. And then if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Let's 